now have Sheena Gao, um, and she's here. Hi, Sheena. How are you? Good. Good how are you? you. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yes, it's such an amazing event. I didn't realize there's so many people that have such an interest in this subject. I'm so happy because I'm from China originally. I'm Chinese American. I've been with Mark Chain since 2015, amazing. and I'm volunteer foster dogs for him and raising awareness that's the main thing I started a group called 812 Faithful Dog Rescue China so it's raising awareness about dog meat trade this is the fight against the dog meat trade we have a movement going on I'm so excited to see all the people here okay okay excellent so you have would you tell us the name of your foundation again I have a little group that generates about education called 812 Faithful Dog Rescue China but that's really in, uh, in reference to the dog meat trade in China and opposed to information, education, to influence people, to educate people so people know what is going on in Asia. And I want to also say not all Asians eat dog meat. Okay, I'm Chinese. I don't even eat meat because, you know, all animal matters. All, all life matters to me. So I stopped the dog. I used to look away. I said, no, 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 in denial. It's not happening. Are you sure. kidding? It's not possible. Sure. It's morally wrong, but I guess there are people that just don't draw the connection. Doesn't have, doesn't connect the dots. Sure. And it's it's difficult to look at. Yeah. So I'm uh, I met Mark in 2015, and he just started going into Asia, and I uh, helped uh, adopted like five dogs out from all my friends. Wow. And also I started just fostering dogs from China, Korea. Uh, from uh, um, domestic abuse as well. So this is a great opportunity, a uh, platform when I walk around and to educate people. So my main focus is about stop dog meat trade. Excellent, excellent. So we're so excited to have you here with us this evening and, and I know you'll have some really interesting insights, you know, being Chinese, obviously having been to Yulin, having experience with the dogs, adopting them out, and then working alongside Mark and with your own organization. So we look forward to hearing what you have to say, and thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you for ha uh, broadcasting this to raise awareness. Absolutely. Okay. Yep, thank you. We all need to be aware. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. So that was Sheena Gao, and we're lucky to have her here this evening. Uh, she works with Mark, and then obviously she, she has a really great perspective being uh, Chinese and having been to Yulin and check out her organization. As she said, she works with dogs and cats um, who have been abused, who are coming from Yulin, who are coming from domestic violence situations. So that's another great way um, to support this work is by supporting those animals who are here being rehabilitated and need to find homes and and they often need help to to get through that process